Yay and Verily as we watch another episode of You With You. This time it's season one, episode seven, spoilery title, Everything Ship. ship. Everything Ship. You ship everybody. everybody. Ship you've back. got ship my friendship, you've got my love ship, you've got my everything ship. Ship Annika and Ethan. Ship, ship. And I want to park it in your harbor. My ship. You. Paco and a, a, a free life. Ship that. Ship oh. Paco. Where the, uh, yeah, there they are. Paco and good parents. Uh, fun fact, guys, we gave Pat a proper tutorial on uh, pegging. And <laughs> what? Uh, when a lady he knows the loves ins a man and, the outs. and she uh, straps a fake penis. Oh, on yeah. Her, and it's called pegging. Don't look up sounding, because that's. Sounding? That's called what? Pegging. It's not called sounding. I mean, it's called a strap on, but the process, you know, it's just like. Get pegged! Like a penis is a penis and a mouth is a mouth, but together the combination is a What is sounding? You know, it's when you know it. I've been to why the animal club. Why would you mention it? <laughs> oh, so people all over here can Google it and be like, Jesus, why is that a thing? It is, because whatever floats your boat, floats your boat. Uh, what was the guy's name? Was it Raj? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And for Raj, you know, he's into a little bit of the old... He did not not want to do it. He did not, not, but he was also like, oh, well, we didn't really talk about this. But, you know, I guess props to the man for... Being a brave heart, but also Jesus Peach, you know, fucking treat some treat somebody with some respect, you know, take him out for a nice caviar dinner, warm it up a little bit. You Peach know? is dead. You know, toss a oh, little bit of salad. Oh fuck yeah, she dead. Yeah. Oh yeah. I Man, guess she can't my toss a is dead. Yeah, she was good. She was JD Salinger's nephew. Or she niece. brought a good uh, spice into the mix as far as the story goes. Yeah. Like having another character so close to Beck that was kind of similar to Joe in some respects. But uh, now I wonder where they're going to take the story. Like, there's... Oh, uh, well, they direction. really focused on that cop last time, so now I think we're about to get some dokes, Dexter oh, shit. Yeah. Like, I know it's you, motherfucker. Surprise, motherfucker. Some fries, oh, motherfucker. Man. Some rise, motherfucker. Hard eyes, motherfucker. <laughs> Small fries, motherfucker. <laughs> Go away. Um, I'm excited to actually see what's happening. Becca... She is sad that her friend is dead. Uh, also, I need to. I need very specific information on how he finagled the uh, crime scene, because he's kind of he was bungling and he had a fucking concussion and he left a jar of piss. So I need to know that this crime scene is just a shit show. Yeah, and especially if it was out in the grass. It seems like any spatter analyst would be able to see uh, the direction of that that gunshot. Right? Unless this guy got out there with a hose. Like, it looks like someone specifically soaked and mopped this patch of grass. <laughs> that weird. I don't know. I just need to see what happened with the mains. Well, guys, Marquetta, is this a, is this the thing that we can substitute marketly? No, guys, this is not a market substitute. You should watch the show on your own. You can find it on Netflix. I don't know what you're doing, but you need to stop. <laughs> um, yeah, find it on Netflix. We are on season one. There are currently two seasons, and season three is in the works. Um, if you would like to support us, you can find our extra content on our Patreon. You can unlock uncuts and early access and premium access and other rewards if you pledge to any of our tiers. Also, if you don't want to do that, you can support us simply by going into the uh, discussion and type a comment and press that like button. That helps. I will kill everybody in this room. You remember? You I, I didn't do shit. Why the fuck you go? I'm a sexist. I ain't do shit. What the you know what? You gonna kill and me? Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep uh, Pat as a survivor to tell the tale. <laughs> but I just wanna look at your neck and make faces. <laughs> Thank you, Marquetta. Uh, I hope you guys got all that. It is an important <laughs> set of announcements we do every episode, but it means a lot. I, mean, I, I, I swear, this shit has been used. I bet you has been used with also, for his freaky ass. I'm. Uh, <laughs> first off, I'm very happy. His that brother gave it to me. Don't bro my into this shit! <laughs> I'm very happy that the audience watching this show with us is understanding when we make jokes and uh, point out the ridiculousness of some of the things. Uh, and, you know, you guys are not generally like butthurt if, we're, if we make fun of it, which, you know, we really appreciate that. Yep, because if Thank you, you want to be butthurt... Thanks! <laughs> and with that, we we're saying... World clock? World Previously. clock? That was so a perfect moment. We've been to hell and back. I want fucking red loud. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. But it only brought us closer together. What? That month Are after the funeral. Addressing was, me? It was intimate. You talking to her? Real. No. Maybe you Just made us yeah. more. Huh. He's talking to someone. Few weeks. 
This whole time. Something happened. But he's talking to her. Oh. What happened? Peach is alive. He's talking to Peach? No, what? She's not. Oh. Couldn't tell you the exact moment things went wrong between us, but uh, wrong they have gone. Maybe they're talking to a counselor, a couple's therapist. So, oh, this motherfucker! Oh, 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 Jesse! Yeah! I was, yeah! Yeah, I thought he was Homelander. It's <laughs> over. It looked like him in his face. I want to know why. It's over. They broke up. Wow. Big Uncle Jesse. John fucking Stamos. John Stamos, you're a terrible therapist if you can't tell this man is a literal murderer. What? That was your first kiss? No, it was two nights later on a school camping trip in a tent to the rain with his best friend Chad. And I've always had trouble with that kind of thing, the whole good guy versus bad boy bit. Uh-oh. Right. Trust me, 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 I me, wish me. I had <laughs> And there we are with the red flag. I feel like a hootsie for it. A hootsie? No real words. We connected on every level. It doesn't get any better. That is just dumb. That is fucking boring and dumb. What's the point? Everything. Well, because they have to, like, like, bedazzle. Because when you bedazzle your vagina. A meeting of the minds. There's only so much shit you can do sometimes, man. You get bored, put some scrap on. Words with friends, same shit. These guys ain't got a switch. It can't be. Are we redoing my first kiss? We're redoing your first kiss. You don't think that that's just a little bit weird? Right. And who the fuck remembers that? Was. You don't remember your first kiss, Pat? Oh, no, your first kiss, but not with the, the, with the girl, yeah, like, you know, the same thing, you know, the new relationship. Yeah, yeah that's weird. Yeah. It would have been cute yeah. if it was their first yeah. kiss. Check her first wife. Sneaking a peek at a locked screen. It was time to stop. Because we were real. I just needed to trust. Shh. Sure. That is a word, yeah. So the relationship that. fell apart when you stopped May spying on her. Huh. Hmm. I thought that grief was really the last frontier. I mean, Peach always said, um... And we were at that frontier together. Actually, I think I'd, I'd rather save it for therapy if that's okay. Therapy? Except, turns out, we weren't. I, I used to go about a year ago, but I stopped, but then after Peach, I thought it was... So are they in couples therapy? Worth it, too. No, I think oh. so. She's going to her own therapy. Mm. No. Oh, he's gonna go, go to see her therapist and spy on that motherfucker. Ah! Yeah. This dude's clever. Sorry. Oh, just play motherfucker. What I uh, she's going to therapy. It's more than likely that she'll be seeing therapist. therapist. Yeah. You think so? Yep. Yeah. Don't you agree, Dr. Nikki? Yep. 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 I hear you, Paul. Yep. Not he doesn't even realize this about him. See, I thought I'd eliminated all the obstacles between us, Beck, but now another has reared its head. It's a therapist! He's right in front of me. He's doing his He's a death. newly dead motherfucker that don't know it yet. He's, He's gonna fucking off Stamos, bro. Let him do his job. Well, she can see a therapist. Now tell me, when did you see the first cracks with Ronaldo? It's interesting because he's actually getting some know. therapy, probably, and he will. Beck is terrible, Joe, okay? She's always late, she leaves the register open, she doesn't yeah. know how to organize by genre. And I hear you, buddy. You're caught up hard in the tilt the world of Punani. <laughs> Here's the thing, brother. Shooting where you eat just leads to confusion. And they go like, right on, boys! So, I'm gonna let you ruminate on that for a little bit. Damn. Fire your girlfriend. A little imperfect. Do we all shit where we eat? I still thought we were in great shape. It's pretty <laughs> much straight feeding to mouth to ass. <laughs> Thank you. I've been having very vivid dreams. So he's making outline or something. Oh. Her face, it's fading, and I didn't think that would happen so fast. But she comes at night, so now I am too tired to write and falling behind at school, and now I'm failing you by being bad at this job. The only good thing in my life right now is therapy. Uh, the only good thing? Oh, he mad. Don't be like that. You know, it's weird that he's so smart, but he didn't think that killing her best friend would negatively affect her. Exactly, you fucked with her life. Such a care move. No. You don't know me at all? No. Then what are you staring at? Damn! But we are different. Jesus, New York. <laughs> I love it. They're just so, they're just upfront about it. Back. You wanna fuck at work? I think you wanna fuck at work. Yeah. All right, so which section do you do it in? Erotic sections off the tables. I hope it's Ethan in a bikini just waiting. <laughs> hey. Me, personally, I would do it in the how-to section. Or the for dummies section. They are in the basement. I'm sorry, that, that's a fire hazard. All, the can all those candles. How are they gonna fuck with Benji died? I thought we could use all those a, are gonna... a little date night. What do you think? I think one Aaron candle could destroy an entire collection of rare books. Yep. Yep. You. 
credits. I'm worth it. <laughs> oh my god, he blinded, bro. I mean, it's a sweet gesture still. You know? But you're still gonna do yeah. it while the candle, you just said go fuck up the whole room, but you're still gonna do it. You know what's really sad? I had this little mermaid sleeping bag when I was a kid. God, I love that thing. What? But then it started to smell. I couldn't bring myself to get rid of Gross. it. Gross. Then I lost it, and even though I was sad, I was kind of relieved because I didn't, I didn't actually have to get rid of it. And it's, it's the same with Peach. There is a part of me. It sounds terrible. Not that I am comparing Peach to a cheap nylon sleeping bag. I, uh... Oh, I get it. A good comparison. This metaphor made a lot more sense when I came to it with Dr. Nikki. Oh my god, be a top to another guy with a penis? That is unacceptable. So she is kind of relieved that Peach is gone and she didn't Peach have to do it. made such you know, like a big deal break about friendship. birthdays. I think I'd rather keep it low-key and small. What happened, Beck? No. Why did no things get bad between you? No, the low-key. I don't know, when Beck was pretty emphatic. Dude, Beck's a Sagittarius. She craves attention. I'm a Sagittarius, Beck. Okay, part of the raises an head and craves attention. Let me give you a little lesson. If I bury my sorrows in any more booze and boys, I'm gonna get syphilis. And Annika's still at Esalen on her grief retreat, so. But she didn't like Peach. None of us liked Peach, but we loved her. Losing a friend is super complicated, Joe. I need this. Beck needs it. Which is why I was stupid enough to think Ronaldo's friends should be listened to, ever. Just be some friends. I thought, so I mean... Help? Well, make it a surprise party. I don't know. It's hard mm -hmm. to say. A book thing. Would you rather do something and be wrong, or nothing and be wrong? What? Oh. I mean, she makes sense, bro. But you, no. can still, you can still do a small, intimate date, like... And then ramp it up later. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, what would you do? Small, intimate thing, or the party? The party, she might be right, bro. She I would knows do the thing longer. that she said she wanted, and then after she, knows she didn't want she it, might be right. at the end. Like, maybe we should talk about you saying the shit that you want when you because want it. Because yeah. you threw him a surprise party? No, no, because that's when I realized he was cheating on me with his therapist. What? 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 No. No. Beck, no, you can't do this, Beck. This is not like you. <laughs> what uh -oh. do you mean? Sir, you're, you're channeling uh, Joe there pretty hard. What's all this? It's a uh, cake? Oh, it's, it's my girlfriend's birthday. Nice cake. She's lucky to have a man who cares. Who also doesn't cover up a cake when he's transporting it. What was that all about? I was like, fuck it. <laughs> Maybe. A library party, bro. That'd be dope as fuck. Oh, oh Andres cool. Thompson. I see you. Yeah. Harry That's Potter's a big ass party, that's uh, fun. Uh, I don't know. Catch me if you can. Catch 22. We got a. Uh, so you can wrap the date? It's 9 to 40. What's up? Uh, so I'm 9 to meet for dinner. She'll be here. Relax. Surprise! Not bad. How American. <laughs> what? Oh my god, her. Woo! How She's American. back. I love her. Is she a. Uh, Dickens? She's supposed to be. Fantastic. Uh oh. Oh shit. Uh -oh. Yes, Ethan! Ethan with Blythe. I shit, but I watched the show. I watched the whole show. He's like, bro, this is it. This is the, this is the opportunity. Stare, especially in Asian cultures. Mr. Darcy, I take it? Indeed. Predictable. <laughs> Says Elizabeth Bennett. <laughs> Name my shelter cat after George Eliot. I love her. The cat or the author? Both. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Nerdiest, sexiest flirtatious exchange I've ever seen. <laughs> Beck isn't just puzzling, she's impossible. Oh. Like, where is she right now? He's it, complaining to her friend, he's acting like a regular boyfriend. But it's Beck. Joe. I've been standing behind you the whole day! Oh, no. Can I speak to you for a sec? Uh, oh, man, come on. None of y'all said something she walked through the front now? Quiet and right. My therapy session ran long. Dr. Nikki and I were really. She is saying that like it's a lie. I know you, Beck. I know you better than Jess. Why do you smell like three glasses of rose? Because I sat down at some stupid bar with my journal trying to work walk. through shit, Joe. That's it. Okay, so then why didn't you call me? I forgot. But it's your birthday, Beck. We made dinner plans. Yeah. I, I guess I lost track. That's on Beck. No, she. It, it tracks. She is irresponsible. That's on Beck. Yeah. You made plans, but she yeah. is your you you made dinner plans. It's she all has bad. a track record of losing her son in time. 
Mm. Yeah, but even if they this had birthday plans, suspicious. even if they, this is a it little is bit, suspicious. if they had birthday plans and like, even if it was just two of them, you'd call it, check or something. Show me your phone. Oh, hell no. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you suck a lemon, are, bitch. Are you serious? Yeah, you, you can't ask for that. Okay, fine. You want to see my phone? How about it? Also, doesn't he have a if you do this, copy of her phone already? Trust me. Yeah, trust. I don't know. If, you don't I don't trust know. We have. No. He, he got rid of it because he didn't need it anymore. Oh, yeah. Do you trust me? And that's when things fell apart. <laughs> you know what? I can't. I can't do this right now. Maybe she is telling the truth, though. Maybe she's not fucking the therapist. I think that's I think that's Joe's. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, she's telling the truth, but Joe's just taking it wrong. I mean, yeah. she literally told the truth like it was a lie, though. Which is, I'm not saying that, like, that's on her. I'm, I'm talking about, like, I don't know. Direction. But it's not a rep for not calling. It's not a rep for not calling, but they made birthday plans. True. Sure, that's a pretty heavy accusation, right? I'm not sure if he actually, what she actually fuck? did. This is Joe's paranoia. Maybe she was lying about where she was, really, but I don't think it was a therapist. Yeah, I don't think she's calling him a therapist. But then it started to feel like something was different. I feel like I'm hungrier than sushi. Pizza. Too saucy. Thai. We had Thai for lunch. Thai sounds so good. Why do I always have to pick? Because you never pick. It's okay. I'll choose. Why do you guys shitty at that? It's a small thing. It's a horrible this, thing. this is how it starts, huh? He's like, let me get some of the... Joe, what if... What if it's you? A lot for him. If it is Ooh. him... I know something if it is him, then she should tell him. him. But I had to be sure. I'll see you after class, okay? Okay. Uh, he still has her phone, right? The, like the copy of it up in yeah. the ceiling. So, if he's about to grab it, if he he's gonna find out 100% for sure. I don't know why he didn't grab this motherfucker earlier. He was so fucking suspicious. Because he wanted to believe that he actually knew her. Heart, heart, heart. heart. Read all of the te read all of the scroll up. He's gonna scroll fall. up. Maybe she deletes them. Oh, he's wearing the hat. He's, he's invisible again. Oh, Translucent. Invisible Joe. <laughs> There's no sense. The invisible man. Uh oh. You putting on that slut stick again? Don't make me come Shut the fuck up. <laughs> just doesn't take me. Where'd she go? Behind you. Ah! <gasps> oh! hey. Cut. 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 Joe, this is the second time she's caught you doing this. You're bad at it. Answer me right now. Were you following me? No, no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I was yeah, in the neighborhood, yeah. and then I, I, I saw you. God, stop lying. Yeah, I think Bex is gonna die, y'all. I think he's gonna have a new relationship with that neighbor. For being late. The secret texts. You've been different, Beck. Are you being crazy? Are you sleeping with him? Who? Therapist. Oh my God. Are you? I hear there's a thing that happens that people no, worry about often. Who's the fox? What? Who's the fox. The fox, Beck. My friend, Emma Fox, from Brown? But I guess that wasn't readily apparent on the text from my phone, huh? Oh, Damn, there's no trust. The trust is gone. If we don't have trust, we have nothing. I know, I'm sorry. Me too. Oh, It's snap. over. You and I were over. Oh. So you were wrong, bro. Oh, he about to kill somebody now. Who's dying? You were wrong. There was no therapist she was fucking. He's gonna be back as a therapist. Who's gonna die? He has it. He's got the thing. What's your diagnosis? My diagnosis? This is what do you make of it all? Well, you might think I'm crazy because I've only known you 48 minutes, but I think there's two of you. Two Paul Browns. Been hurt in the past, feel betrayed and hopeless. But the other one has faith, in spite of the evidence to the contrary. He believes true love exists, and that is someone I think I can help. He's gonna start fucking the therapist. I think you should see him. I think you should actually see him regularly, though. Well, come on. He hit the nail on the head. You didn't like hearing that truth, did you? No. What are you it's doing? It's back! Oh, you're really gonna do it, huh? The man's. You're so bad at hiding! He called you out. He's become addicted to killing people around Beck, even if they're nowhere near guilty. Our best guy notice these people popping off and around her. You know, she's gotta notice. Yeah. Ben G Peach, now this guy, this is this is this is like you gotta notice. That like, he can't be that stupid. Man. And he's just pissed that he had Joe Peg like perfectly. First. 
I mean, like, call them out perfectly. In these days, the quickest way to a man's truth is through his computer. Oh, read the notes on yourself, bro, and get another dose right. of truth. It'd be funny if he was like, I definitely see him stealing my letter opener. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably reading this right now because he yeah. hacked into my computer. I mean, he followed me. I get it. I feel violent. I pretend I'm Joe, okay? What would you say to him right now? The more you want me, the less I want you. I know, if it's messy. Oh, he's gonna keep the dead press around so you can get inside on him. I didn't want a complete ugly mess I am behind this like cute acceptable version of being a mess. It's insane. Did the therapist not did Dr. Nicky not connect the dots when he also I said he followed the, shit that went on the partner? Peach. His partner. Never mind. Does that happen very often? And instead of putting it into my room, I am hibernating. I need space to heal. But every time I turn around, you're standing there ready to make it all okay. Smothering. But only I can do that. Yeah. And if you really love me, you'll see that. Huh. Are you afraid you might be pushing away a good thing back? Maybe. But it's what I need. Yeah. Damn, there's still like 40 minutes that left. That doesn't sound like an illicit affair. Nah. That sounds like a messed up girl in a crisis. Yeah. You always get a motherfucker, bro. You have. Pretty decent? Yeah. You should listen to your own fucking audio file and listen to like you sound like. It also sounds like you were right to end it with me. Oh, shit! But he's only gonna just win her back in a better way now. She got to survive? I was wrong about all No, no, he's just gonna try to win her back in the long, no, long game. I wasn't wrong. You so, I'm letting you go. He's breaking her phone. Damn. Alright, see, he grew up. It's not a character arc, he just stopped being terrible. To <laughs> one person. He was so only terrible to one person. But he did, I mean, what that's about the two that he murdered? He let her go. Yeah, he let her go. I mean, th that's but, the past. You can't change the past, bro. Come on now, shit. Uh, I do I think he's gonna be playing the long game, though. Jealousy got the best of me, and I, uh, I was, I was threatened that you needed someone to talk to who wasn't me. And if I was a smarter man, maybe I wouldn't let you go. But uh, I'm guessing that's what you need. Aww, man. Goodbye. I need a new bitch. So I can fall off the That's sad, guys. <laughs> you're, you're not sad. Like, no, yeah. she got away from being murdered. She just doesn't know it. I am super happy. The second it's over, all you can remember is the stuff that made you fall in love blazing through your mind. Everything shit. I love that. I never felt this way before. Where you love the bad things about someone as much as the good. Maybe even a little more. I mean, you fucked up her life, bro. No, he did get rid of two toxic people in her it's life. Scary. Yeah. Peach was not toxic. Let's not go with it. Peach, get the. I'm happy to see you. Here, I didn't think you'd come back after our last session. Oh, that's the thing. I, I, I don't, uh, I don't understand it. That's why I'm here. What don't you understand? Love. If I understood love, I'd be out of a job. I have to say it's sort of unique to everybody, like a fingerprint or a strand of DNA or a song you lost your virginity to. Hungry like the wolf. Of course. <laughs> hey man, that's a nice one. Some people have a hard time letting go. Uh oh. Built for life. That's my boy. Yeah, yeah. Season two. Character arc. Some people are searching. searching yeah, you gotta bang the neighbor down. The You're right. Sir, that's you. You look like shit. What up, Karen? Nice. What happened? My girlfriend dumped me. Told ya! I'm about to you know, mind. carry them cheeks apart. Yeah, yeah, you know what's going on. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Dear New Yorkers, is it true? Y'all just fuck like this? I appreciate oh, yeah. it. yeah. Let the clapping of cheeks commence. I love you, Joe. What the fuck? What, what, what? Ah, oh, you're fake. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That's hilarious. You're like a normal dude now. Look at that, huh? Killed two people now, you got it off your chest. Let's let's live life normally now. He's gonna stop. Where you found it, girl? Oh god, he's gonna know what you about! <laughs> <laughs> no one has a lock on their phone. Oh no, he had his own phone. Okay. Huh. Was it his own phone? Yeah, yeah, he's on his own on Instagram. <laughs> I was worried. Are you gonna leave Beck alone? Oh. Or will she end up like me? Looks like Beck's not out of the soup just yet. Oh, maybe he done the same for Candace and then he went back and killed the bitch. He said, Candace, I'm gonna show you this knife. Look at it. 
It's like a reverse vertigo shot. Dolly zoom out. He's a very sick fucking man, isn't he? In it. Oh, I might just block over here, isn't it? He's real fucked up, right? Right in the head, this fucking mug. <laughs> He's a proper cunt. Yeah, a proper uh... cunt. I love, uh, I love Bill, Billy the Butcher on the boys. Says <laughs> cunt so many times. Uh, good well, episode. I like I got mug written on me for it. Good, uh, good, good. Yeah, they um, broke up. It was a clean breakup ish ish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, honestly, I'm really happy for the breakup part because I thought she was out of the woods, but clearly she is not. Uh, you know, in TV shows when people get done having sex and they grab up all the blankets before they leave the room? Dude, does anybody, like, dead serious, does anybody <laughs> in the actual real world actually do that? Or is this strictly for a TV thing? Because TV, TV, I feel like yeah. after you've done it, like, all the shame's out the window. You're like, I'm about to just Stare hang it all out on the way to the I'm going to air dry my way to the tub, at least. Look at my butthole on the way. Even with a one-night stick, that's the whole point. You're like, I wonder what you look like, you know, in the freak position. So, you know, cover it all. I, but it's really cool <laughs> that um, Beck got away from Joe. <laughs> yes, and he didn't kill the therapist and realize, oh, he was actually a pretty uh, yeah. good therapist. Yeah. That's, yeah. damn, good job, he John was, He had a knife, like, or like a thing in his arm, and then he was just like, oh, I, do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also like, real talk, let's talk about this, like, just logically here. Joe, you rolled up, you stalked her, you killed her ex, you killed her best friend, and now you're upset that she broke up with you? Like, in most lines of life, that's pretty much what happens, except for also you go to but, jail, too. But she don't know any of that stuff. I know, but I'm saying, like, from his perspective, he's just like, like, I don't know, does he not believe in, like, he... I don't even believe in karma, but, like, for this shit, he should be like, eh, it kind of seems like karma. Like, I had this coming. I've made my own fucking bed. Yep, 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 I don't know, yep. I think he, in his head, he well, he in, his doing... head he's, in his head, he's saying he's giving her to test, it's just not karma. Yeah, he was, he was making her life better, but he still doesn't realize how much of a direct result he had and how... No. Complicated it is when, when people die around you, man. Like even if even his best friend's a bitch. Yeah, that's because he's an emotionless fucking husk. Also, like <laughs> real shit. Like he's like a computer. He's like, there's so many things wrong in your life. Like I'll equalize them for you. Like eventually he would just be like, your whole life's wrong. You're such a messed up girl. I should just kill you so that way you don't have problems anymore. Look yeah. At this knife. It's a slippery. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. But he came to realize. Yeah. He was smothering. He yeah. wasn't giving her space. Yeah. And uh, and he went and. He was cordial about it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he's having visions of Candace, so uh, it makes me question things. And he's banging the neighbor longer than seven seconds. It's So, it's, uh, general poll, how do you guys think he's going to kill Beck? I don't, I don't think he's going to kill Beck. I, I think, I think he's going to play the long con game and just be like, position himself places that he thinks Beck will be. Nah, Beck and she won't think that he's following her again because... Yeah, yeah. and I, I also don't... Beck's not going to like him anymore. Like, the trust is gone. She even says there's nothing about Joe. So. Marquesa, do you think he's going to kill Beck? Mm. I say he's going to do it, and he's going to do it with a rope and a knife. He's going to tie the knife to the rope. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Joe, how could you? And he's like, ha, 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 yes. Oh my god. And then he'll, she'll be in Rome. Yep. Um, Paris, no, Rome. Uh, uh, Ibiza. Hey, uh, Ibiza. do you think that the cop is going to continue to play a role? Because he just confirmed through his phone call that there's nothing to be suspicious of. Uh, I think storytelling-wise, it's weird to introduce the cop and yeah. to introduce the problem if yeah. he doesn't show up again, so he's definitely going to show yeah. up again. He'll probably just, I'm telling you, he's going to have like a cop hunch gut feeling and be like, I decided to show up to Mooney's, and that's when I found you, Joe. Why did you lie about your name? Where is Mr. Mooney? Can I speak to him? Like, I don't know. The cop, he's got like, you, you know how TV show cops mm. are. They're like, I got a gut feeling about this mm -hmm. one, Ricky. No, I think, that, yeah. I think that there might be still like an investigation about Peach. And maybe they will find something yeah. suspicious. They did hang on his piss no, jar. It's, a like, it's definitely going to yeah. come yeah. back. Some check off piss. Check it up. One of the things I do think that's uh, interesting that I would about Peach's like whole her uh, killing herself thing is that she's tried suicide before, and I think that like in most investigations with police, they're always just trying to like look for like the thing that makes the most amount of sense. But, like person tried to kill themselves before. I mean, she was also attacked last week in the park. But then like you know, if her death can be ruled a suicide, like well. It's done. No, yeah, last paper deal. Yeah. yeah. We found the culprit. It was himself the whole time. Yeah. So I just um, I'm gonna be interested in seeing why that cop gets it uh, all started back up again, or maybe they find the pitch jar, maybe they find the evidence. But mm -hmm. even still, I don't know. Like as an innocuous like pitch jar, and it, like because they're also gonna find all the like sex toys and shit, and be like, yeah, she tried to have a threesome the night before. Like, mm -hmm. like maybe she's in a weird shit. Maybe jars of piss is like you know part of the whole ritual, fidelio, if you will. I love that life is. 
with Ethan. With oh Ethan. my god, they're so cute. It's the best. Uh, we love them so much. We're gonna have them over for two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad Ethan got a victory, man. No. He was uh, dealing with a lot, especially when like coworker slash boss hires his girlfriend and she's shitty as fuck at her job. Yep. Like, I'm in an awkward spot. Oh right my now. god, when she oh, I cannot stand that. Like when. Like if you if you have a job and you're literally your job is very simple and straightforward and it's to like catalog books and you just throw it like randomly in the bookstore. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Because also she's not tired. She's dealing with she's depressed. She's dealing with, the, she's uh, she's dealing with yeah, depression and uh, confusion and peach best friend death yeah. therapist. But I mean what I'm like but it's one of those things that like, alright, look, I get it, right? It's it's like, look, I've had plenty of jobs, and even if I've been sad, I get to work and still at yes. least do the bare fucking minimum. Yes. But, like, to be like, I'm going to do this thing that's obviously going to get me in trouble in the next hour. Yep. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Like, that, that I don't get. I don't know if I'm going to show up to work drunk and be like, I'm still going to do the bare minimum because, like, I need this fucking job. You can't just fucking. Yep. This is going to be fun. I'm really excited for this. But depression. Yeah. Well. Cool. Don't come into work that day then. This Especially because the hours are flexible and your boyfriend works there, so it's not like not coming into work is going to be that bad for you. I think this episode actually highlighted mental health and the importance of talking it out and therapy. Mm-hmm. It helped both Beck and Joe. And, you know, ban- Banjo. That's Banjo. Their, that's their... That's their ship name. What anyway, him, I like how the show does scenes where like he's listening to the audio tape and he's actually like talking to her for his own catharsis. To me, it still feels like an arc because I want Joe to do better and be better, and he's. Oh, do you think like like that? His whole he entire learned, character he learned something. Is that yeah. like he, like goes from being the bad guy to eventually being the good guy? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Hmm. My back is still going to die though. Oh well, I mean, I. I just don't see how I, I, just, I just don't see how bad be with Joe again. After he's that. in morally questionable things. I mean, he didn't need morally to kill Bushy. <laughs> Is murder morally questionable, or is it just bad? Because I'm gonna. I'm mean, excited to say it's morally questionable. Murder. I'm talking about straight ass hardcore. Okay. Sometimes it's morally he questionable. He should have done that. Murder. It depends who you murder. He might be irredeemable. He might be irredeemable, but he has two counts of murder that we know of. Yeah. yeah. Also, and it, mind you, it's like cold blooded murder. One of them was even preemptive murder, which means that like I have sat and I have thought about how many. Actually, no, both of them were preemptive murder. Those are like the two worst kind of murders. You yeah. spend time thinking about how to murder somebody, and then you fucking did it. You was bad. Good episode. I'm interested with the breakup. I'm really interested in how this season is going to end and what's going to produce the problems for next season. Uh, still, not a fan of Joe. He is always, for me, going to be morally irredeemable because he literally killed someone's best friend thinking it would make their lives better. And I think people like that shouldn't be around. They should be in a box. Let's go to a let's throw a library party, guys. Uh, yeah. A oh, library party. On a library, bro. Yeah. Yeah, right, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Norm's gonna buy a library and we're gonna keep books alive. Oh my god, oh, we're shit. just gonna fucking burn my Oh friend. shit, Baywatch? Alright guys, don't well, it off. We're getting, we obviously have 80. Booty! We're gonna talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching You with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to Aaron, Desiree, Eleanor, Explorin, Dylan, I Eat Pink Tacos, Joe, Jules, Light Yagami, Michael, Nick, Puvy, Quentin, Ricky, Ruby Tiger, Bystander, Tristan, Keyboard Junkie, the NYR fan, and ZJP, and we'll see you all next time.